stinging. Uh, this was yesterday, actually it started about yesterday afternoon into the evening. We had uh, members of our narcotics uh, detectives along with, along with street crimes unit officers were working this sting together. Uh, there were several ads that were posted on the internet at different sites and uh, essentially just advertising uh, escorts. And we had uh, some female detectives that were used uh, that were posing as as these escorts. We had several people that had contacted them and they arrived at a, uh, we had a local hotel that was working with us uh, and providing this uh, room. Inside the room, once the persons met there, they basically propositioned the detectives for sex. In some cases, there was more than, than one undercover detective in the room, so that's why we have two counts on some of these people and others, it was just one person. Uh, in total, we had seven different people that were arrested uh, for hiring sexual activity. Uh, there was one person, uh, Jesse Riley, uh, he was also arrested for possession of a concealed weapon. He had a handgun that was in one of his pockets and he didn't have a concealed weapons permit. Let's see, what else? So the last time we did this was August 30th. At that time we had eight people that were arrested. Uh, so a couple months later, we did it again and had seven people arrested. I think that probably shows that maybe people aren't paying attention to this. So I think it's probably a good chance in the near future there will probably be another reverse prostitution arrest. Uh, this coupled along with the other prostitution arrests that primarily our street crimes unit are making, uh, we're trying to at least send the message out there that prostitution is not going to be tolerated in Sioux Falls whether it's a female that's soliciting prostitution or whether it's a man that's looking to uh, find a prostitute and engage in illegal activity. So uh, we're doing what we can. We know that the, the internet ads make it a little difficult to track. Uh, it's easy for these people to post ads online and, and people to respond. So we're doing what we can to try to track that and, and keep Sioux Falls a good place. Any repeat customers on this list? I don't think so. I think these are all uh, at least not similar from the other okay. sting. What was the one two weeks ago then? Uh, which one was that? I don't. Oh, it wasn't a sting. Yeah, it was just because there were several arrests arrest two weeks ago as well. Right. Yeah, and I, I guess I don't know. I know this was the last the, the sting that we did. Um, I don't recall that one offhand. Is prostitution a major problem bigger this year than last year, Sam? I guess it's a little hard to say. Uh, we've definitely had a lot more enforcement that's been coming this year. Um, whether or not there's more prostitution, it, it's, it's a little difficult to say. I mean, it's, when you look at arrest statistics, those are the people that are getting caught. Those are the people that are getting charged. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's an increase of that. It just means that there's more enforcement that's taking place. So. I, you know, prostitution's been around and it's probably not going to be going anywhere, but we're going to do what we can to try to limit the amount that happens in Sioux Falls. Okay. What do these things do for you? Obviously, they're coming to you when you do this stuff. With the reverse thing? Yeah. It just, I think it just shows that there's interest in this. And, you know, the number of, of women that are advertising as escorts or prostitutes, uh, there's, there's quite a fair number of them. And, they wouldn't be doing it if they weren't gaining something from it. Uh, these guys are the ones that are providing them the money and, and keeping this going. So we're trying what we can to try to, to bring it to a stop. So we arrest the prostitutes and we're arresting the guys that are soliciting them. Uh, it's, you know, it, it's, it's all we can do and we're, and we're hoping it'll make a difference. This is a misdemeanor, right? Yes, these are all misdemeanors. Because these numbers keep I mean, because, you know, in the last one you had eight, and now you have seven, um, you know, is this enforcement going to continue, or is it going to get any, are the punishments going to get any harsher, or do you have any plans for, you know, enforcement in the future with this? I guess I, I don't have direct knowledge of that. I just, uh, these numbers are high enough that I'm guessing they're probably going to continue. Uh, that was a message the chief sent out last time after we had eight arrests, and having seven arrests, I don't see that this is going to stop anytime soon. The penalties are set by the legislature, so we don't have much we can do with that. If they choose to 
uh, change it from a felony to a misdemeanor, certainly there'd be an increase in, in some penalties that would be associated with that. But uh, the, the arrests that we're making, you know, we're, we're trying to let people know that this type of activity isn't going to be tolerated.